On today's show, the Tacoma is going strong despite new competition from GM, how big data can help you find a parking spot, and Audi teases a new SUV that's aimed right at Tesla. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for August 19th of 2015. Last week, Audi announced that it's partnering with LG Chem and Samsung SDI to develop a battery from cell modules provided by the two companies. The German automaker said it would be used in a pure electric SUV that will have a range of 500 kilometers or about 310 miles. At the time, Audi didn't reveal what vehicle it is, but now we know. The company will show off the e-tron Quattro concept at next month's Frankfurt show. The SUV was designed from the ground up and its length is between a Q5 and Q7. The SUV has a sleek sporty design and that's not surprising because last year Audi CEO Rupert Stadler told Autoline that, and I quote here, Audi needs to make a performance zero emission vehicle. Audi plans to release the production version in 2018. Finding a parking spot in a big city can be a real hassle. That's why Inrix, a company that uses data from connected cars and predictive technologies to gauge the flow of traffic, will begin using those same resources to help drivers find parking spots. John recently interviewed Mark Pendergrast, the Director of Product Management at Inrix, and he explained where they get their data and how they use it. So much like what you do today with our, with our traffic service, where you're, you're guided into uh, or away from routes that are highly congested, you know, all that data is being used from, you know, you're, you're collecting that from, from connected cars. We're doing the same kind of approach with, with parking service. So we're looking at where people are ending their trips, starting their trips, combining that with transaction data, and then we're making assessments on where people are parked currently, right now, at this current time. So it's really using all that data right from the car in, a, in, a, in an innovative way. You can watch that entire interview right now on our website or on our YouTube channel. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. Hyundai, learn more at Hyundai.com. And by Pure Michigan, leading the automotive world in intelligent connected vehicles. We run on brain power. Sales of the Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon are running strong, but they haven't put a dent in the sales of the Toyota Tacoma, whose sales are up nearly 20% this year. And with the new Tacoma about to hit showrooms, Toyota wants more manufacturing capacity. So it's doing something that it has never done in the history of the company. Toyota is running its Mexican assembly plant on three shifts. Keep in mind that Toyota is a company that tries to avoid running overtime. Its philosophy is to maximize the use of its people, not its manufacturing plants. And it wants plenty of time between shifts to do maintenance. But thanks to three shifts, Toyota expects to get 80,000 trucks a year out of its plant in Baja, with another 120,000 coming out of its plant in San Antonio, Texas. And that should keep it comfortably ahead of GM's mid-size pickups. While training for repairing and maintaining hybrid and electric vehicles has gained some steam, there's still a need for qualified technicians in that field. And like any job, an internship is a great way to get your foot in the door. The Automotive Career Development Center, or ACDC, is looking for two automotive students over 18 to assist at their shop and training center. Not only does the internship provide housing and meals, but it also includes study books to keep, access to a fleet of hybrid cars, and on-the-job training. The only cost is getting yourself to Massachusetts. Well, I first learned of ACDC and founder Craig Van Battenberg when doing research for an Autoline garage. And I can say not only are these guys passionate about what they do, but they're also very knowledgeable and have resources you'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else. If you're interested, send an email to Craig with a resume and 100 words as to why you want the internship. Coming up next, John is back with You Said It. True love will find you in the end. Hi, Dad. 
you're committed to the job, your tires can't be weak in the knees. Durable, dependable Firestone tires. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. And now it's time for some of your feedback. Okay, GA Brannigan wants to know why the Lexus LX and GS have been fitted with that spindle grille. Wow, the cow catcher from steam locomotives of old are back and not even as nice looking. What were they thinking? Well, huh, they were thinking that the public actually likes this look. And sure enough, last month, Lexus outsold Mercedes, BMW, and Audi in the U.S. market. Tango R34 wonders why Volkswagen did not say anything for 18 months about its cars being vulnerable to a hack attack. He says, I thought VW would have immediately performed security measures as soon as faults were discovered, whether they prevented the findings from going public or not. Well, we all would have thought that, but both VW and FCA stuck their head in the sand and hoped that no one would catch on to the fact that their cars are vulnerable. And now they're paying for that with damaged reputations and a mad scramble to find a fix. Ron Paris says, hmm, nice job Toyota on the Tacoma Aero package, but I did see the front air dam separating from the bodywork as if it had may have already smacked the ground on an ascent. Well, part of the reason may be that that air dam is designed to be easily removed. Toyota says that with the air dam on, the approach angle for the Tacoma is 29 degrees. That's pretty steep. With the air dam off, the approach angle is 32 degrees. I'm telling you, that truck will go up and down the steepest hills. It truly has amazing off-road capabilities. And speaking of the Tacoma, Bob D wants to know, so is the Tacoma a completely new truck or just a 2004 design with a new facelift? And how can they justify a $2,500 price bump in the base model? Well, since the Tacoma has a new body, a new interior, a new V6 engine, a new automatic transmission, and a completely redesigned frame, Toyota says this is an all new truck. I'd say at the very least, you can call it a significant refresh. And they can justify that price increase because for each of the last two years, they've bumped the price up by a couple of grand and sales just keep on going up. Kit Gerhardt has a related question. Why do all pickup trucks have a lift kit appearance? Even the smaller ones like Tacoma, including two wheel drive units sold in Florida. Well, they do that because they primarily sell those trucks to young men who love the rugged off-road look of those trucks. I'm telling you, that is the only reason. And finally, Godzuki9 says, I wanna spend the day at Woodward with Jim Hall. I would learn a lot. Well, yes, you would. And that's because Jim is an encyclopedia of knowledge and his insights and background stories are why we are so pleased to have him come on the show. Hey, thanks for all your letters and comments and please keep them coming. But anyway, that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.